Liam, firstly, many congratulations. Um, the bonus point win and ultimately home quarter final in the British and Irish Cup. Yeah, I'm so pleased we've achieved that one goal we set. You know, one of two. There's another big one for us to still to achieve. But I'm glad we've done that. We had a tough pool. Um, come through at six out of six, and I think we topped it off nicely tonight. There's 60 odd points in the game. Fantastic. I say 61 12. Um, with all respect to Cardiff, it was quite an easy breeze for Bristol, wasn't it? It was. You know, they're not a bad side, but I thought some of our attack today was real class. Was a real class attack. The quality of handling was very good. The pace we played with. So, you know, no disrespect to Cardiff. I think we played very well tonight. Tristan's firstly, uh, many congratulations on the win and uh, secondly, congratulations on your man of the match. That was an exciting game and a, a great result, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was uh, just a lot of attacking and it was good fun. A lot of boys enjoyed themselves, a lot of points, so it was good. And great to be playing as a backs behind a pack that really were dominating today. Oh yeah, brilliant. We had such good ball. We talked about the breakdown, how we needed to control that and we did that and then sort of the execution out wide was fantastic from our back three and things. So it was, it was uh, good to be a part of. No disrespect to Cardiff, they, they, you know, they're a great team, but um, it was a slightly easy ride for you guys tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I think they're sort of their squad's being pulled all over the place with Six Nations and sort of the Cardiff Blues, so they were sort of down a bit on what they'd normally were, so we can only play what's in front of us, so we talked about our being ruthless and things like that, so yeah, we're, we're, we're obviously happy with that. What didn't go right? Um, I think we dropped off a little bit at the end, you know, if you want to find some negatives in it, but we, we dipped our uh, work rate at the end there. But look, all round, I'm so chuffed with, uh, with a very positive performance. And as you said, it is a hard group, the championship is ever so competitive, and to ma maintain that winning form in both competitions, it's, it's pretty impressive, as you said. It is, and you know, I think what tonight showed is that we're, we're going to come into some very good form. and. Last week's game, I thought, was, was a quality attacking performance. This week, again, uh, very good. So we, we've got something really building in towards the end of the season. Ignoring the win and the scoreline, were you happy with how Bristol played? Yeah, um, we've talked about the attacking mentality as well, and that was sort of evident, obviously, with the points and how we were playing, and the execution accuracy was uh, really good out there. So. Half-time, the game, to be fair, looked like it had already been wrapped up on the score sheet. What did you say at half-time, looking forward, looking ahead to the next half? Well, I just said we need more of the first half. Don't let the game fizzle out, because sometimes it becomes very scrappy in the second half where the game's won at half-time. So I said, let's, let's push on, try and match the first half, and really focus on our accuracy. And you know, the try we scored in this corner, I thought, was a real reflection of quality accuracy. And in terms of squad rotation, nice to be able to empty the bench and really use those guys coming on well. Yeah, and there's some guys who are having a lot of game time, you know. I thought James Merriman was outstanding, Tristan Roberts, man of the match. Uh, some of these guys have really stood up and said, you know, um, you know, look at us for next week. So I was very, very pleased with the attitude with that. We've seen in the, uh, the not so favourable conditions, the forwards really mucking and getting dirty in the backs, probably rubbing their hands together a bit. Lots of rubbing the hands together tonight, but um, great to see the backs really throwing the ball around and seeing some pretty sexy tries. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah that's one way to describe uh, tries. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was obviously good. I mean, the pack's obviously a big part of how we play, but when we've got a dry track, which we're looking forward to, and there's hopefully a few more going into the end of the season, we've got some backs that can uh, threaten and sort of score tries that way, so hopefully we can sort of attack teams from all over the place. Liam said that was a hard pull to be in for the British and Irish League Cup, but to come out with all wins, top of the pull, with a home quarter final is um, a great feat for you guys. Definitely, the uh, home quarter is something we'd sort of targeted with this competition. We didn't want to uh, sort of look at the BNI Cup as something not focused on with the league. We wanted to attack sort of both of them and that five out of five or six out of six now is obviously we're delighted with that. And obviously looking to next week, um, as we said, we talk about momentum and we bang on about it quite a bit, but it is key, isn't it, to keep that going back into the championship? Yeah, Bedford next week, big game, you know, top four, uh, top four places up for grabs and, you know, away from home, they're a tough side to beat. But if we attack like we did tonight, probably the defence we had for 70 minutes, we're going to be a tough team to beat next week. Yeah, the boys have been sort of really, really excited in training, enthusiastic, and that's sort of shown in our last few games. And uh, yeah, to sort of keep that, keep that feeling going and build that momentum. Liam, it's been an exciting week or two. Lots and lots of signings, players, directors, whatever. Does that rub off on the players? And is that what we saw tonight? Well, I think it's more a case of we've been building towards a, uh, a peaking at the end of the season. Uh, you know, I think the signings and, and stadium news and all of that. 
it, it might rub off, but I think this is a group that's been building towards a peaking and of a performance, and they're doing that at the moment. We're seeing the fruits on the pitch, but in the week, is that buzz there? Oh, absolutely. They, they, these are a positive group of players. They want to succeed. They want to do well. Uh, they work hard during the week. They're a very positive group of people, and they're carrying that onto the field. This was a positive performance.